Okay, let's finish up our frequency table example. So we were working on the number of times uh, times to store. And we started off with zero times per week, one, two, and three. And then we had the count or the frequency of those events from our sample. And that was, we had five, 10, 10, and five. And then we also calculated out the relative frequency, which is just the frequency divided by the sample size. So our sample size, remember the variable is n for our sample size equals 30, or the total of all of our measured events. Okay, so the relative frequency then is 5 divided by 30, 10 divided by 30, 10 divided by 30, and 5 divided by 30. Now when we have ordinal data or numerical data, uh, we can also add in two more columns. Uh, we don't add these in for uh, nominal data because we actually need some order to the data for them to make sense. So the next one is cumulative, cumulative frequency. So cumulative frequency is just going to be the count of the event plus everything before it. So the freak, the cumulative frequency is just going to say, okay, what is the problem or how many times did people or how many people went to the store one time or less? or how many, how many people went to the store two times or less per week. So the first one is just going to be the same as the frequency, five. Then for the number of times, or the number of people who went to the store one time uh, or less per week would be 10 plus five. So that'd be 15. And then the next one down, 10 plus 15 is going to be 25. And this last one is five plus 25 equals 30. You'll know you'll have done it right if you get to the end and the last entry is the same as the sample size. Okay, so we can add in one more column. This is the cumulative relative frequency. And this is very similar to the relative frequency. Uh, the only difference is that we use the cumulative frequency in our numerator. So here we're going to do 5 divided by our sample size. The first one in the relative frequency and the cumulative frequency are the same. Then the next one is going to be 15 divided by 30. Next one, 25 divided by 30. And the last one is 30 divided by 30, which is equal to 1. Another check, you'll know you have done it right if the last entry in your cumulative relative frequency equals 1. So just as a recap, these frequency tables are ways that we can start to um, find patterns and figure out the probabilities of events. Uh, we use these tables for both numerical and categorical, but if you're doing nominal data, you only need to do this first three columns. And then we can do these last two when we have ordinal or numerical data.